What is the difference between a certificate and a key with respect to SSL? Whenever I try to understand anything about SSL, I always have a hard time keeping track of what key and certificate refer to. I fear many people use them incorrectly or interchangeably. Is there a standard difference between a key and a certificate? A certificate contains a public key. The certificate in addition to containing the public key, contains additional information such as issuer, what the certificate is supposed to be used for, and other types of metadata. Typically, a certificate is itself signed by a certificate authority, CA, using CA's private key. This verifies the authenticity of the certificate. These two pictures together explained everything to me. Source, Linux Voice. Source, Infosys Institute. Let's say company A is a key pair and needs to publish his public key for public usage, aka SSL on his website. Company must make a certificate request, CR, to a certification authority, CA, to get a certificate for his key pair. The public key, but not the private key, of company A's key pair is included as part of the certificate request. The CA then uses company A's identity information to determine whether the request meets the CA's criteria for issuing a certificate. If the CA approves the request, it issues a certificate to company A. And brief CA signs company A's public key with his CA's private key, which verifies its authenticity. So Company A's public key signed with a valid CA's private key is called Company A's certificate. Let me explain with an example. In normal key pair based P, there are private key and public key. In a certificate based system, there are private key and certificate. Certificate holds more information than the public key. Demo, you can generate a certificate and private key, this URL. You can download open the private key file and certificate file, you see certificate file contains much information as shown below. You can match your generated certificate, opening by a text editor, and private key, opening by a text editor, from this site, this URL. If the certificate matches client's private key, the client is sure, that certificate is given by the client or given by client's trusted agent, CA. However, there are problems in only private key and certificate-based communication. Because, anyone can generate their own certificate and private key, so a simple handshake doesn't prove anything about the server other than that the server knows the private key that matches the public key of the certificate. One way to solve this problem is to have the client have a set of one or more certificates it trusts. If the certificate is not in the set, the server is not to be trusted. There are several downsides to this simple approach. Servers should be able to upgrade to stronger keys over time, key rotation, which replaces the public key in the certificate with a new one. Unfortunately, now the client app has to be updated due to what is essentially a server configuration change. This is especially problematic if the server is not under the app developer's control, for example, 
if it is a third-party web service. This approach also has issues if the app has to talk to arbitrary servers such as a web browser or email app. In order to address these downsides, servers are typically configured with certificates from well-known issuers called Certificate Authorities CAS. The host platform, client, generally contains a list of well-known CAS that it trusts. Similar to a server, a CA has a certificate and a private key. When issuing a certificate for a server, the CA signs the server certificate using its private key. The client can then verify that the server has a certificate issued by a CA known to the platform. However, while solving some problems, using CAS introduces another. Because the CA issues certificates for many servers, you still need some way to make sure you are talking to the server you want. To address this, the certificate issued by the CA identifies the server either with a specific name such as gmail.com or a wildcarded set of hosts such as Google.com. The following example will make these concepts a little more concrete. In the snippet below from a command line, the OpenSol Tools S underscore client command looks at Wikipedia server certificate information. It specifies port 443 because that is the default for HTTPS. The command sends the output of OpenSolS underscore client to OpenSolX509, which formats information about certificates according to the X.509 standard. Specifically, the command asks for the subject, which contains the server name information, and the issuer, which identifies the CA. You can see that the certificate was issued for servers matching. Wikipedia.org by the Rapidsil CA. As you can see, because of this additional information sent by CA to servers, the client can easily know whether it is communicating with its server or not.